Okay, how's it going everybody? It is June 7th, 2018. And today, I'd like to take a more in-depth look at what is known as the Helena Fault System, which lies outside of the Kilauea Volcano in Hawaii. And I'd also like to take a look at the overall size of the Kilauea, uh, Kilauea Crater in Hawaii. So we will start off at the moment of looking at the vol or not the volcano, but the earthquake activity currently going on at Kilauea. And this is tracking from today. This is there is currently 200. Oh, hmm. well that that okay there it goes okay for some reason it lagged. I'm sorry. Okay, it's 250 earthquakes tracking as of right now, June 7th, 2018. Uh, the majority are focused in and around the Kilauea Volcano. Today though, I'd really like to go a little more in depth of what is known as the Helena Fault System, which lies right here below the Kilauea Volcano. So here's a good picture I found from the hawaii.edu website. So here is Kilauea. The Helena Fault System lies right here and right here. This is also Helena. This is all this landmass right here. Okay, so what they were worried about earlier this year was the Helena Fault Slip. They were worrying about this slipping, which it has done in the past, which I will show you. And that is what I think is occurring. Now, they're not talking much about it, but there, it, I feel like, in my opinion, there is enough information to talk about it. So, I don't see why, there, why people aren't. Um, if you notice... If I pull back up this little map, Helena, all this pink right here, all right here. And I don't know, I want to say, it, I, I don't think it's all this pink, but I want to say it's like somewhere around here. But regardless, if we go back up to the side, it's all with all, you know, it's, it's the whole part. And that that's a week, by the way. So if we go to a month, and this is, they, they said earlier this year that we would notice that there would be a slip within the Helena slump and that in my opinion is what we are seeing slowly now I have attempted to find the deformation monitoring tracks which are tracked by GPS systems and I cannot find them I can track it on Yellowstone I can track it on other websites I cannot find the link or I cannot find the ability to track them for this volcano right now uh, and I, I, if you can find it please link it to me because I said I could do it for everything else I cannot find it for this for the Hawaiian volcano right now, um, but GPS is that they have sensors all throughout the ground which track how far the ground is falling down and is rising. It's very important to look at, and in my opinion, especially right now, it's something we we should you know we want to look at. Um, here's a, a like I said another look at the map, and we're gonna read a couple articles. The first one this was on the hilo.hawaii.edu website. And it just goes over, it's, there's more images. This is the actual, they wrote in a couple articles or about what had happened. It's called the Western, yeah, they, they, they labeled it the West Side Story. And it's basically whenever the Helena Slump had fallen off into the ocean and they were, be, they were able to track the sites of where it had actually, the debris, so there it is right there. That's how they were able to figure out that this had fallen off before and that this whole area moves. They also figured out that Kilauea, it move, it, it, the volcano moves quite easily on the ground. And I'll read the first entry for you. The Helena Slump. First, the volcano can move or slide fairly easily along its base. Generally, the movement is relatively continuous. However, a bit of sticking here and there can generate some rather large earthquakes. The structure that results from this type of movement is called a slump. Generally, a large block of volcano slides coherently and stretches the volcano. Because the block is lengthening, it also gets thinner. The result of this is a set of, of normal faults near the head of the slump. The blocks on the seaward side of the fault drop downwards due to the fact that the moving block is thinner. So, as I said, here's the debris, uh, the debris line right there. As you can see, like it, it's fallen in the ocean before, and there has been events before. It's falling now. I don't know. I did not mean to close that. That is, that's unfortunate. But 
you you understood what I was saying. You saw the images. You saw the in here. Okay, there we go. You see what I'm talking about. And if you look at the earthquake map, it's all along the fault system. If you can simply Google the fault slip of the Helena fault slip 2018, and it'll pull up the exact article. It, I mean, there's people talking about it, but it's not as much in my opinion as there should be. And in my, it, it's most likely because there's not much they could do, and it, it would scare the public if they knew something bad could happen if all this area displaced and fell into the ocean because and they don't know how much they don't know it, they don't know if this whole landmass could go if a certain you know a, you know the, i don't know i mean i'm sure they know but i, I don't think they're going to release it if they do know as i said i'm finding very I, I don't know why i can't find the monitors to track the ground movement as i said i can do it for everything else but i cannot find it for this area um i have another article uh, from C. David Chadwell. He is a research geophysicist and a me, uh, marine physical. Uh, oh, he works at a marine physical laboratory. So he wrote uh, vertical deformation measurements on the submerged south flank of the Kilauea volcano. Hawaii reveals seafloor motion associated with volcanic collapse. Uh, I'm just going to read another s bit of this, of what he wrote. Uh, a four-year seafloor geoetic study was conducted to measure vertical deformation of the submerged south flank of the Kilauea volcano on the Helena Slump. The Helena Slump is a site of significant deformation, major earthquakes with ground cracking, and associated tsunami. A new technique was developed to measure vertical deformation on the seafloor using pressure sensors and campaign-style surveys. Now, it goes on to give the data of how it actually was measured and stuff like that. Now, I'm not a geologist. Or a geologist. A lot of stuff I really don't quite understand. So, I hope my viewers are educated enough and can read the, from here. And I, I will for sure link this article. You can go on and read it yourself so you can really break down the data yourself. And that's what, I, that's what I'm here for. I'm here to just... I, I find myself getting all those types of good information. Some of it I can't always break down myself. But if I can just provide it to you... You could take it further than I can, and that, that you know, I just want to play my part in that perspective. Um, now, if I, ha I don't know if I had any more images to pull up, but as I, said, I find this very odd that we have continuous activity here on the whole line of fault system, and they had they mentioned it could happen. You can see the debris filled off the ocean from when it's fallen off into the ocean before and created mega tsunamis, and. Um, I think it's only a matter of time. The la now, so this is the last thing I wanted to talk about. This is about the Kilauea's. So we know about the normal crater, the hollow. I'm so bad with these Hawaiian uh, names, so I'm not even gonna. I don't want to butcher it at all and uh, you know offend anyone. However, so we we see the original. I want to. I hope I have the GIF image. Okay, there we go. So this was May 23rd, and this was May 31st, and now June 7th. It's even larger. This right here, this whole area right here, is called the Greater Caldera. So initially, the hole was, you know, it was, I want to say it was 90 yards or smaller than that initially when it first started, and now it's 900 yards across and um, almost 1,000 feet deep. So if this Greater Caldera has, has been there for thousands of years, it has sat there and cooled and hardened, it hasn't been affected because... And Kilauea has been actively erupting for years and has never got this, has never been this large in the first place. It's never gotten this big. And now it's showing activity of, it's cracking on this back end side, over on this side. So if this end starts falling in on the greater caldera, if all of this landmass becomes one big caldera, that'll just, it, it, it's, it's, it hasn't been seen before ever. I mean, that is just, what we're seeing now is already unprecedented. Something on that scale is, I, I honestly don't know what would be the consequences of that actually happening. I don't know, I don't know. As I said, what we're seeing now is already ridiculous. So I thought I'd bring that to your attention so you kind of see that. Um, go back to, this is the USGS 3D model they did of the topography of the land. This is demonstrating and showing you. So here's the outside of the actual, like I said, the greater caldera. And this is going to give you a more, so it shows you the depth of how deep it, you know, it really is. And it's pretty ridiculous. I, I wish they had a before and after picture to really demonstrate the difference. But I, I still think it speaks for itself, 
I'll pull it up one more time so you can see the you know the full full thing there you go and um, we'll do a flyby as well so you can really and this is by, provided by the USGS website as well they did a flyby and I said so it, it's 900 yards across now thousand feet deep and backsides are fissuring and cracking and now I'm not I'm not suggesting the entire thing is collapsing I am suggesting backsides may start collapsing as well and fall in that is what I'm suggesting of the greater caldera I have no idea I, I know if we have a big enough earthquake I really do think all this could eventually go but I, I don't know I'm not a geologist but I, I do see more of this falling in and creating an even bigger hole uh, that is all I had to talk about tonight. I hope I helped, you know, maybe shed some light and maybe gave you some information you didn't know prior. I will provide links, everything in the description and in the comment section. So if you have any questions, if you like this video, please drop a like and please subscribe if you haven't already. Hope everyone has a great night. I'm out, guys.